All right, guys. Today we're talking about the Tucson TS-261. And this particular knife is in S110V. I've known for quite a while that Tucson has done S110V. Nothing lined up in the past, though, for me to actually test one. Now I have, I have one data point. I have tested a good bit of S110V in the past. I just never did a video about it. It was my own stuff. I don't remember why I didn't do a video about it. I just didn't do one. Now that I've done this, I will in the near future do at least one Spyderco S110V to give you guys a good comparison point to what this did compared to what the Spyderco can do. So I'll cover the sharpening. Since I did do, this was new, I did do the factory edge, first edge, third and fourth edge. Cover all that. And I did get an average hardness on this. And we'll talk about that after the testing. So let's get through the cutting and get to the important stuff. Okay, now that we're back, the sharpening on this was easy. Now, I've talked about this before. I don't find S110V to be hard to sharpen at all. This was very easy, though. Didn't have a problem deburring it or anything. It just was extremely easy to sharpen. And on top of that, we'll go ahead and the factory edge did 125 feet total. I left the first sharpening test at the same. It was right around 17 degrees per side. And when I say that this was easy to sharpen, it we're talking just a couple minutes to go from 17 degrees to the 15 degrees that... It has right now so on the first test that was still at 17 degrees 183 feet total on the first sharpening so about a 60 foot jump between what the factory delivered and what you can expect out of the first edge then like the other two sun this is another one of the four that was sent to me to actually use. I sharpened it for the second time, used that entire edge up, then moved on to the third edge. And that's when I dropped it to 15 degrees per side. And being the type of steel that this is, just like S90V, S110V, I've already found in the past works best in the four to 600 grit range. So this was done at 600 grit. It's going to be the only difference from most of the other tests that I run. On the third edge, 100 feet fine edge, 190 feet working edge for a total of 290 feet. Sharpened it for the fourth time, ran the verification test, and on that test, 102 feet 
fine edge, 188 feet working edge for a total of 290 feet. Now, I'm sure a lot of you at this point have had experience with S110V, and those numbers sound kind of low. Because for S110V, that's, that is kind of low. So then I moved on, took it apart, and got a 5-test average hardness on this, and that came out to 59.6. So... That gives me part of the picture of why this only cut 290 feet. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when I run another S110V and can do a direct comparison between this and the other one. And we'll talk about some of the key differences. In use, it did okay. Sorry, guys, I had to stop my video for a minute and do something. So, in use, it was okay. It definitely, definitely was not what I've come to expect from S110V. And this isn't ground horrible. But it, for S110V... If this was my only experience with it, I I can't exactly say that I would really like it. Even though it cut 290 feet total in a test, I didn't get a whole lot of days worth of use out of this before the edge was just totally done. S110V strops back okay, even good S110V. In production form, strops back okay. So I can't really say there's a difference there. Overall, though, not a great S110V experience. I have no idea how much these cost, mainly because this just isn't something I would ever buy. While it was comfortable to use, I don't particularly like this design at all or anything like that that had no bearing on how the steel actually performed but I will talk about it a good bit more when I cover the other S110V and that won't be too far down the road from this video I'll get it done before I have to send these back so that I actually have the knife in the video so even if you haven't watched this video, or if you have, you'll have a direct idea of exactly what I'm talking about. So if any of you have Tucson S110V, good experience, bad experience, let me know down below. And I believe when I compare this in the other video, I did test some S90V from Tucson a couple years ago. I lost most of the footage for it, so I never did a video for it, but I will talk about how that did, and that will paint a broader picture of what you can expect when you buy some of these steels from somewhere like Tucson. That's all I have for this one. As always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.